Hi guys, it's Jo from Oops A Daisy. Today we're going to be setting up our February spreads. Um, I can't quite believe really that it's the end of January already, first month of 2020 nearly gone. Um, and I'm gonna be setting up my February spreads based on the, the theme that was included in the Love Daisy mini box. So if you subscribe to the Love Daisy mini box, you'll get this bad boy through the post once a month. Um, and contained inside this is a stencil um, with a theme for the month a coordinating washi tape and a coordinating sort of miscellaneous um, accessory for journaling. So we'll have a look at what's inside here um, in a moment. You'll notice that our monthly mini box we ship about sort of six to eight weeks ahead. So this is the February box and that was shipped on the 14th of December. Um, on the 14th of January, we shipped our March box. The reason for that is to give it enough time to get to you so that you can set up your monthly spreads well ahead of the month starting. So any new subscribers up until the 14th of February will be receiving our April box as their first box. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and show you what's inside. So. You'll notice that it's quite pink. Don't be alarmed. Um, the theme for um, February for us was lovebirds. And the reason I've gone for that is because February can be a month that people go really kind of pink and red and hearts and flowers um, for their themes. And I thought lovebirds can be something that is love based, but also by sort of changing up the colors on the lovebirds, you can make it quite colorful and spring like. Um, and that's kind of what I'm going for with my monthly setup. So you'll also see we have our stencil and I'm gonna move these bits so that you can see it on the, the back. So it's got February in a script type font, kind of a curly font. You've got some birds and heart icons. We've got hearts as kind of a bullet point, so you can use those as your to-do list. And we also have slightly more realistic and less cartoony birds at the bottom there. So that's our stencil. And you'll also have your accessories. And the accessories for the February box, we have a, a Lovebird washi tape. Let me open that up and show you the design on it because it's super, super cute. See why I just find the end of this washi tape. So the birds on the, the washi tape are kind of like the, the more cartoony birds on the stencil and they're all quite brightly colored. Um, yeah, super, super cute. Yet again, you may hear my cat Flora singing in the background. That's because I've locked her out of the room um, because I've already had to film the beginning part of this video four times because she crashed through it every single time. So we've had an argument um, and I've locked her out um, and she's now screaming to come in. So <laughs> if you can hear the cat crying, that is why. Um, as well as the washi tape, I've also included this really cute kind of bookmark ruler. It's super thin, super fine. Um, it's got a little bird cage at the top of it. Um, it is a ruler, but it's also a kind of a metal stencil. Um, it's got a little ribbon that you can add to the top so it can also act as a page marker um, for your journal. Um, and I just really liked how that kind of matched along with the theme for February. So yeah, I'm gonna start setting up the spreads. What you will notice in this um, setup, and I'll, I will kind of speed it up once I stop rambling, is that I'm gonna actually use some of the papers that the stencils were wrapped in um, as a bit of a highlight on the page. Something that I haven't done before, um, and I actually saw a couple of our subscribers do it with um, our papers. They've reused these in a couple of different ways. Someone actually wrapped Christmas gifts and birthday gifts um, in the papers, which I really like. Um, it's obviously super green to be reusing and recycling, um, but I quite like the patterns on these and I feel like they're gonna, they're gonna go really well. So to add those into the journal, I'm gonna be using this glue tape roller, oop, which is also available on the website. Um, basically, it's a kind of non-messy way of, of adding glue to your journal um, and adding different papers and things in. So, yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna start setting up my monthly spread. I'll check in with you as we go through. Um, yeah, enjoy it. Any questions, pop them down the bottom of the video. Any um, things that you want to know how I've used it or where I've got things from. Um, and also let me know what your theme is for February because it's really interesting to know people's takes on the, the different months. Mm -hmm. 
Anyway, I'm gonna crack on.
Okay, so that is my January setup. I'm gonna go back to the beginning um, and just give you a little flip through. Um, I would say I kind of figured out halfway through the best way of using this kind of curly font stencil. So I don't actually love how I've done it on the first page, but I will show you um, the difference basically. So my cover page is just the font here. I've used the pink um, from the, the wrapping of the mini box, added in my um, washi tape detail. And I always just put kind of birthdays and things, important dates on the, the very front page. I always use a monthly calendar tab, which I'll zoom in on so that you can see what I mean. Um, the benefit of this is that I can quickly jump to February when I need to in the book. Um, so that's my February colour cover page. I then made my monthly spread um, and I figured out quite quickly that with this stencil, um, the February stencil, and also the matching curly font stencil that I created, if you use a thick pen and kind of follow, use it as a guideline rather than colouring it in, you get a much smoother um, kind of font that looks very handwritten but is obviously sized and spaced a bit more appropriately. Um, I do, if you have a look at the stencil, there's these little gaps here that have to be put in for the stencil not to fall apart. Um, I kind of follow the, the line of the stencil and then fill those little gaps in afterwards as you will have seen through the video. Um, and what I have done on the monthly cover page, um, because I've overlapped this over the, the pink spotty paper, I've used the um, white Sakura jelly roll pen just to kind of highlight that and it makes it pop out a little bit more. Um, I've also used my two accent colours for the month, which are mild liners in this kind of cool flower blue and I don't know what you would call that. Um, it's orange, but I'm not sure the, the tone of orange. Um, and I've used it to add little dots around um, my headers just to give it, again, a little bit of pop. Um, I used the super easy monthly stencil to set up the monthly spread, which is this one. Um, and I've basically just laid out the whole month, obviously, details to be added. I used the um, social media stencil to add in my social media stats. And I've used the other paper from the other box um, wrappings as the other highlight and just a couple of little lovebird silhouettes on the top there. really like this, how this has turned out. Um, and then I've got my goals and habits. Again, really similar. I've got the washi tape. My um, habits, I've just traced an outline of the month on each one. Those little box size I will cover, colour in um, once um, I complete them. Um, and again, use that sort of font there. Um, and then my goals for the month, um, I'm going to try to be better at clocking off. Um, so days when I'm working from home um, for Upstazy, very easily I can end up working into the evening. Um, and I, I need to kind of give myself some um, a, a cut off time so that I actually have a bit of chill time in the evening. So that's one of my big goals, losing weight um, and getting on with the couch to 5k. Um, I then created a really simple kind of brain dump things to do page. So very similar heading, um, just using the um, curly font stencil, which is this one, um, tracing around with my pen and then using a few little dots to make it pop. Um, I've got the, the bits of the, the scrap paper and the, the washi tape again. And then I've also added a YouTube spread because this is something that I'm working on as we speak <laughs> um, by recording this video, but also something that I'm kind of in keeping in the back of my mind when I'm creating things. So um, my YouTube tracker, um, I'm gonna zoom in again. Um, I've got a little birdie for each five new followers I get on YouTube. So if you are watching this on YouTube right now and you haven't already clicked subscribe, then please click, click subscribe here and you may enable me to color in one of these little dudes. Um, and then I'm gonna just put in where I started at the beginning of February and then where I ended and what the growth was. Um, and this page over here is just for really planning my YouTube videos. So what is the video that I'm recording? So for example, this would be my February setup. When did I film it? When did I edit it? When did I upload it? 
have I added it to Instagram TV? Um, and then what are my 24, 48 hour and week views for, um, for that video? So just kind of keeping a track on what's popular and what isn't. Um, and while we're talking about that, if you do have any feedback, um, anything really, or videos that you want me to film, stencils you want me to create, pop it in the description um, below. Um, I love reading all of your feedback and I do try to take the time always to reply to everything on the YouTube videos. Um, yeah, so that's basically my January setup. I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, I, I don't love the cover page as much as I love the rest of it, which is slightly annoying, but hey, we learn as we go along with our bullet journals. Um, I really like how bright it is. Um, it follows the theme of February, but without being too kind of wishy-washy, lovey-dovey. Um, yeah, pop me in comments below and let me know what you think. Um, and don't forget to click subscribe. Bye guys. Thank you.